Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Your discretion is advised. Hello everybody and welcome back to GeoGuessr. We're doing a diverse world today. It is a map by Mapper. We should be in Poland. Why? Because Poland likes its poles. You can usually find those those double or even sometimes triple poles uh they all have the holes in them they're they're polish pole land get it wink wink nudge nudge uh where in poland we are garonik if we could find that from a distance i would laugh hysterically uh it's it's got to be a small town we're never gonna find it our main goal right now is to find road numbers, and road numbers are always our best friend. However, it feels like we are on a rather small road, which means for the next two minutes, we're probably shit out of luck. But we can't give up just yet, unless for the next minute we don't find shit while we're going down this road, and then we're just going to give up. And then we'll choose a random spot in the country to guess and hope for luck. I didn't check to see if there was water near where we were. We are entering the town of Stare or Star Resco. Ooh. Not ooh, actually. It's just a regular curve. I thought this was going to be a T intersection. And usually, T intersections have a lot of good information. You can find town names on them, road names on them, road numbers. Uh, and we just happen to be shit out of luck. So two thumbs up there. Your typical random rural round and diverse world 3.0. We seem to get those very often. So start at Resco and then new Resco. Uh, safe place is middle hedge, right? If we just go middle... We can't fuck up that bad. So let's go... I'm go here. Ends up being the Northwest. I don't know how you guys managed to figure this out. We... We're so fucking close to finding a major road. And we gave up. If we were to go the other way, we might have found Capice. Which does show from a distance, and the town we just found, Goronik, we can also see from a distance. But we would have we would have never gone up there. So I don't blame it. Sri Lanka? Sri Lanka. At this point we just throw it down and guess. Uh, we're not gonna find anything of use. It's Sri Lanka. Um I wish I knew more about it, but I can tell you when we're here, and that's it. Sri Lanka. Ends up being to the south. We didn't spend the time. Right hand side, we have the antenna. And we have Polish again. Really? Really? Okay. Uh, redemption? Perhaps? I doubt it, but... We'll, we'll give it a try. It's definitely a larger town than the last one and what do you know a1 can we find here's a2 here's s8 s7 so there's only one a road that we could here's okay a4 a4 s19 s12 a1 uh, to Gorziki? I have no idea where that is. In fact, it's not even fucking listed. Awesome. We also have Racy Boars and Woodsy Skla, but I don't feel like that's anything of importance. Blue Shao continues to go north, then turns to E75. Awesome. So, if we lose it, we just have to find E75 again. And it's gone. And then it's this way. What a weird fucking road. And it should go this way. It still does. 
Uh, still nothing. I'm so glad that we can never find the fucking town name we're looking for. And then it turns into S6. Is it still technically A1? It's not. It, was, it doesn't fucking matter. Fuck. Here's Racy Boars. We could actually have found that from a distance. And it's not even on A fucking 1. Are you kidding me? We would have only looked at A1. We would have never gone outside of it. We would have never looked away from it. You know what? Fuck roads, man. Gen 2, it has to be South Africa. Has to be. That is pointing us towards Cape Town and Parl. Here's Parl. Here's Cape Town. R101, which is right here. Which also goes this way. We are heading north. North? Okay. Could it be... Parl's 10. I think it's this. When we return to start, there's the body of water. There's a bridge. Body of water, bridge. Wrong side of it. We were looking north. That doesn't look like the way we're fucking looking. But there's the bridge, apparently. And then... Scotland? Scotland. Shielden and Airy Hillock. Uh, doesn't sound very Irish. Ireland uh, was technically the other option. Don't think it's regular UK, and I don't think that was Welsh. We do have some hills. I don't see any bodies of water, and we got plenty of sheep. I know the sheep meta is more or less a joke at this point, but... I think there are more sheep in Ireland than Scotland. But that sign was definitely not Irish. Uh, we are going to look for some license plates if we could find them. However, you know our luck. We're not going to find shit. Now we're in Gen 2 winter coverage. Interesting. Uh, we do have something called the pl the passing place. That truck isn't important because it's in the fucking fields. A giveaway left hand side. So it just goes to confirm the bias we already have. Can you just give us like a fucking vehicle on this road? Or, or are we not fucking desperate enough for you to fucking help us out the GeoGuessr gods? Because if we could find a license plate and they're both white, it's Ireland. And if one of them is white and one of them is yellow, it's Scotland. It's yellow, it's Scotland. Uh, that says... Barre, Osprey Heights, Stunning Development, .co.uk. Advanced 5-star home builder with 7 years. I don't feel like that's enough. 7 years? You only been building homes for that long? Uh, let's choose a random place called Aberlore, because why not? Not a bad random throwdown. We just found not even a major road. Is it just me? Or are we getting a lot more rural world location? Well, not rural world but rural locations in a diverse world 3.0. Obviously, it's it's a world map and there's 52,000 handpicked locations. But we're finding a lot of places in the middle of fucking nowhere. Where we have to travel for two minutes to find a fucking sign that has some language on it. I don't get it. I, I honestly don't understand. I feel like... I feel like it's just not meant for newer players and i'm not a newer player but it's still frustrating when you have to travel and travel and travel and travel and then you find a little tiny clue and guess what you're out of fucking time doesn't make too much sense to me 
but not much we can do about it. Obviously, we didn't win. We didn't spend the time on it. Uh, Taurus coming in first place, 24-601. Two, not too far behind is Ben Keller at 23-988. Jiu Guru in third at 23-397. We spent half the time because we didn't, there was just something there. I don't like rural locations. I don't. Even whew, round four did, did us good. Round two wasn't too bad. Uh, Dad City in fifth at 22.719. Jakarta coming in sixth at 22.703. Speed running it. Bo coming in seventh, 22.617. VCB in eighth at 22.164. Scribbles in ninth at 20,865. And Arsene in tenth at 19.960. We didn't spend the time. And not only that, we kind of hate rural locations. We found, what, one sign in South Africa that pointed us to a location. That's it. Everywhere else, we had to rely on other stupid shit, like telephone poles, language, and license plates. And obviously in Sri Lanka, the front of the car. I don't know, there's something about this game that sometimes it's, it's incredibly frustrating, and then other times, you just get lucky. And I feel like the lucky seeds are the ones we need to really focus on, because... Rural locations, not really a fan of. I've never been good at recognizing town names, so how am I supposed to do that when there's five people who live there? I couldn't even do that in the United States. And that's arguably my best country. But that's going to be where we call it for the day, so thank you all so much for being here. A little bit of a shorter one, a little bit more of a rant. Uh, but I look forward to seeing you guys all next time, which will be Wednesday. Uh, we are streaming on Twitch on Tuesdays and thursdays at 1 p.m eastern and on mondays and wednesdays at noon eastern so if you guys want to stop by and say hello feel free to do so you can find a link in the description below uh, but until next time guys enjoy the rest of your day and bye bye